Hello students, welcome to our lesson. I am Ifis and today we're going to learn how to write an opinion essay. Yes, in this lesson, you will read a sample of opinion essay, use on the one hand and on the other hand to show contrasting opinion, learn first conditional rules, and write a short essay of opinion. Are you ready to have a fun learning session? Get ready with your pen and paper and let's begin. First, let's talk about fact versus opinion. Are they different? Yes, definitely. A fact is something that is true. For example, in 2017, a computer program named AlphaGo Zero defeated a top human world champion at the game of Go, a 2,500-year-old game that's much more complex than chess. Wow, that's an amazing fact. What about opinion? Well, opinion is something that someone thinks or believes. For example, if someone says robots will be smarter than humans by 2065, that would be his or her own opinion or prediction. Because not everybody will think that robots could ever be as smart as humans. Ha! <laughs> if robots become smarter than humans, I hope they will help all humans have better lives. Opinions are useful to persuade, but careful readers and listeners will notice and demand evidence to back them up. Do you see the difference now? Yes! Now, do you know what is opinion essay? An opinion essay is a formal piece of writing which requires your opinion on a topic. Your opinion should be stated clearly by writing what you think or belief. Throughout the essay, you will give various arguments, reasons or viewpoints on the topic and these will be supported by evidence and or examples. You could also include an opposing viewpoint in a paragraph. Okay, students? Next, we're going to look at a sample of opinion essay. From the sample, you can ask yourself whether you agree or disagree with the writer's opinion. Before we read the essay, look at this picture of the moon. Would you like to travel to the moon? I would like to travel to the moon because there will be no gravity. It will be fun to jump or just float around. What about you? Well, can you guess what is the topic of the essay? The topic of the opinion essay is Will people ever live on the moon? You are going to read and listen to the essay. When you read, identify in which paragraphs does the writer 1. Give reasons why people probably won't live on the moon. 2. Give reasons why probably people might live on the moon. 3. Give a personal opinion on the subject. 4. Ask a question. Let's read through the essay and determine which paragraph carried this idea. A, B, C, or D? Will people ever live on the moon? 
Many people like the idea of going on holiday to the moon, but will anyone will actually live there in the future? Scientists have different opinion on this subject. On the one hand, the number of people on Earth is growing and we are destroying our natural environment. If we aren't careful, one day we won't have any food or energy. If this happens, we will need to find a new place to live. On the other hand, the moon isn't a very comfortable place for human beings. There isn't any air or water, and the temperature is too hot or too cold. Maybe we will be able to improve conditions on the moon, but it will be very difficult. In conclusion, I don't think people will ever live on the moon. In my opinion, the Earth is a better place for human beings. So, what do you think of the essay? Do you agree or disagree with the writer's opinion? Now, identify in which paragraph does the writer give reasons why people probably won't live in the moon. Yes, paragraph C. Which paragraph does the writer give reasons why probably people might live on the moon? Paragraph B. Next, which paragraph give a personal opinion on the subject? Yes, paragraph D. And lastly, which paragraph does the writer ask a question. Paragraph A. Did you get it all correct? Excellent, guys! Now, let's look at the structure of the opinion essay in details. Your opinion essay should have an introduction, main body, and conclusion. In the introductory paragraph, you need to present your subject and state your opinion clearly. Make sure it contains a thesis statement, a sentence that summarizes the main point of your writing. The introduction is the first paragraph of an essay and it needs to include a hook. What is a hook? A hook is a sentence to catch the reader's attention when they read your writing. Try to be creative when you write your hook sentence. Usually, the hook sentence is the very first sentence in your paragraph. Here are some examples. Have you ever wondered how your DNA makes you different from other people? Millions of people around the world go hungry every day. You can also include data or a statistic. Do you know that astronaut can't have showers in space station? So writing a hook sentence helps your reader to read more. From the sample essay, the writer uses a question as the hook. In the body of your essay, you need to support your thesis statement. You can write several paragraphs, each presenting a separate point of view, supported by reasons. Yes, you could have several arguments or reasons to justify your opinion. In fact, you could also mention an opposing viewpoint in one of the paragraphs. While writing, pay special attention to tense. We normally use present tenses in opinion writing. 
linking words. To express your opinions, you can use In my opinion, I think, I believe, I feel, I am convinced that From my point of view You can also use different expressions for giving reasons For example, one reason for is Many people believe that since and due to. And to add other ideas, you can use first of all, secondly, what is more, finally. And last one, conclusion. The conclusion of any essay sums up the thoughts and ideas that were written throughout the essay. To conclude your opinion essay, write a paragraph where you restate your opinion using different words. You should avoid introducing a new idea or apologizing for your views. However, to make your essay more engaging, you can end with a warning. Ask a provocative question or suggest consequences. Like how you see the writer writes, the conclusion in the sample writing. In the sample, the writer uses a conclusion sentence to wrap up the essay. Some sentence starters for conclusions are In my opinion, as you can, and in conclusion. We would like to highlight your attention to these phrases in the sample essay. On the one hand, and on the other hand. In an opinion essay, we can make the two possible opinions clear without the phrases on the one hand and on the other hand. They are used when you are comparing two different facts or two opposite ways of thinking without a situation. We often use them at the beginning of paragraphs as in the example. On the one hand, the number of people on Earth is growing and we are destroying our natural environment. On the other hand, the moon isn't a very comfortable place for human beings. All right, before we proceed to your writing task, I would like you to see this. These are the examples of the first conditional. The first one, if we aren't careful, one day we won't have any food or energy. And the second one, if this happens, we will need to find a new place to live. In English language grammar, we use first conditional to talk about possible actions in the future and their results. So if the first condition happens, something will happen as a result. Of course, we can't know what will happen in the future, but this describes possible things which could easily come true. This structure is common when talking about possible plans, promises, warnings, threats, or for persuading someone. So first conditional is really useful when writing an opinion essay. 
Would you like to hear more? Look at these sentences. If scientists continue to experiment, we will find cures for more diseases. There will be more explosions in our science class if we aren't careful with the chemicals. You can see that in both of these sentences, there are possible future situation and future result. We can put the possible action first in the sentence and the result second. Or we can put the result first and the action second. We leave out the comma in the middle of the sentence if the order is changed around. You can refer to this table. The first conditional has the present simple after if, then the future simple in the other clause. If plus present simple will plus infinitive. The present tense after if refers to the future, not the present. Notice how we use a comma after the present tense clause. Normally, will is used in the main clause of first conditional sentences. However, you can also use the model verbs may, might, and could when something is a possible consequence and not a certain one in the future. Look at this table. Main clause. If plus present simple, model verb with future meaning plus infinitive, will or may or might or could. If he gets a job in Liverpool, he'll have to get up early. It's a long drive. If Sheila rings, I might ask her to come over for dinner. Let's do some exercise to check your understanding, shall we? Match these phrases to make sentences. Don't forget to use a comma. If you go to the space station, you won't have enough for later. If you miss your family, the doctor will give you some medicine. If you drink too much water, the journey will take two days. If you feel sick, your muscles will stay strong. If you go on the exercise bike, you'll be able to send them emails. Did you manage to find the answers? Let's check. Number one, if you go to the space station, the journey will take two days. Number two, if you miss your family, you'll be able to send them emails. Number three, if you drink too much water, you won't have enough for later. Number four, if you feel sick, the doctor will give you some medicine. And lastly, number five, if you go on the exercise bike, your muscles will stay strong. Well done! You have done a good job in forming the sentences. I hope you are able to use first conditional sentences in your writing task later.
write an essay with the title, Will Computers Ever Think Like Human Beings? Huh. Before you start writing, you're going to complete the notes for paragraph B and C for this topic with your own yes or no reasons. You can copy this table on a piece of paper. What do you think? Do you agree that one day computers will think like human beings? Hmm, I think yes, they will. Why? First, because they are already very intelligent. Letting computers run things for us can improve our lives. Well, we already do that every time we touch the screen on a smartphone to call someone or press the button to automatically heat something up in a microwave. The computer is a machine that can perform tasks and some computers are very smart and they could do things better than humans. Could computers write great literature or compose great music? Humans are potentially capable of writing poetry that evokes an emotion, playing a silly game with their children or laughing at a joke. Well, but computers can learn very quickly. If we develop smart computers, they will perform the task specified and instructed by a programmer. This what makes computers so useful. They always do precisely what you tell them. Whether that's good or bad, sane or crazy, safe or dangerous. On the other hand, computers don't think they mindlessly follow rules that the human computer programmer sets out for them to follow. Humans can work together, respect one another, and help each other in the community. Can computers work collaboratively with human or other computers? Now, we already have several viewpoints about the topic. It's time to write your opinion in an essay. When writing an opinion essay, you need to follow this plan. First, decide what your opinion is. This will be the main point of your conclusion. Then plan your middle paragraphs using the ideas that you've come out earlier. Next, your essay should consist of four paragraphs. First paragraph, your introduction with a question. Second and third paragraph, your two middle paragraphs with the two possible opinions with reasons. And fourth paragraph, is your conclusion with your personal opinion. And lastly, you need to check your writing. Make sure that you have the correct layout. Introduction, two main paragraphs, and a conclusion. Make sure you use on the one hand and on the other hand. For example, on the one hand, computers are already very intelligent. On the other hand, they haven't got feelings like human beings. Next, include first conditional in your writing. For example, if we develop smart computers, they will perform the task specified and instructed by a programmer. Or, if computers become smarter than humans, I hope they will help all humans have better lives. And lastly, make sure your opinions are clear in the conclusion. 
you could complete the essay as your homework and send it to your teacher in school. Do you enjoy your lesson today? We hope you had a good time learning from this lesson. Till next time, bye-bye!